Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets review video. In this video we have the MPAL Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Let's go ahead and start opening it up. So some of the features that are showcased on the Amazon website for this particular product include anti-ghosting that has 87 keys, the blue switches, and then also that it's water resistant. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It comes well packaged and pretty protected, so most likely you'll get this in good shape. Wow. So first thing I noticed about this opening up is it has a great weight to it. It kind of looks plain, but that's deceiving because it looks just like a keyboard you would get with for free with your computer. That is very deceiving. This has a very good weight to it. It's actually surprising that it's made out of plastic because it feels very heavy, which I like. If I'm going to be gaming, I want it to sit strong and be very secure on my desk. Okay, let's talk about the design of this keyboard. First, it's designed with a kind of arc in the keys. This is to provide more comfort and it's more ergonomic. On the bottom you have legs on each side that are completely rubberized. So you have that awesome grip. It's not going anywhere in your playing. And then you also have a nice big grip in the front with some texture to it that it'll allow, it'll ensure it's going to stay in one spot when you're playing. So the plastic is, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It's like a hard plastic with a almost a metal feel to it. And now I know this does have a metal plate inside that the switches are hooked to, but then the outside is with a really tough plastic. It's not a cheap plastic that feels like it's going to crack. This is a very heavy and strong feeling plastic. This keyboard features what are called blue switches. So blue switches are the basically what the cap sits on top of. That's this right here. So blue signifies you have two forms of feedback when you hit a key. You get tactile, so I can feel it right when it makes that noise. I can feel like a lessening of pressure. And also you have an auditory feedback. You can hear that. So a gamer uses this to his advantage, his or her advantage. So it only has you only have to put the key halfway down to hear that feedback. When you hear the feedback, that is when it's going to register on your computer. So you only have to put it halfway down, thus exerting less effort and spending less time using hitting the keys. So a gamer, you if you practice at this, you can actually save time and effort by just barely touching the keys and you know that they've actually been registered by the computer. And the sound is really cool, the mechanical sound. Okay, so one of the advertised features of this device is that it is water resistant. As you can see, it has drain ports in the bottom. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to perform a test where I pour water onto it and then see if it still works. As you can see right now, it's working on the calculator. So I'll go ahead and pour water. I'm going to drain it out and then we'll see if it still works. Alright, so it is draining out of the holes. Let's see if we got anything. Still works. Very nice. And the drain holes did work very well because all the water came right out. Got a little bit still stuck on top, but the water in the keyboard seemed to have come right out. Okay, so while I have it set up like this, where you can see it actually typing onto the key, onto the screen, I wanted to kind of show you the anti-ghosting abilities. So anti-ghosting is when you hold down multiple keys, but it's still... So right now I probably have about seven keys held down. It can still pick up anything that I do push. So say I was doing some sort of function or something on a keyboard that requires a ton of keys for a game, but then I have to also do something over here seems to do a good job of that, where it will still pick them up. So the anti-ghosting is, is fine. It's not limited by the USB, which is one of the concerns that I had with this being USB, is usually that limits it to six keys at the same time, but I was able to do at least around 10 keys with no issue or more. 
So the anti-ghosting does work. Okay, so that was the MPAL mechanical gaming keyboard. After having some time to use this device, I really like it. I love the sound of the blue switches. I like the feel of the plastic and how tough it is and the heavy weight. I like that it has really good grips on the bottom as well as on the legs. I've actually never seen rubberized legs like this and it's really nice. I also like the six foot USB cord. That allows you to, I mean that's meant for an actual desktop computer so you can route it through your desk and actually get it there. I like that it comes with easy to pull off caps for cleaning of your blue switches. So. I really, really like this keyboard. I highly recommend it to anybody that's looking for a gaming keyboard, especially one that is around $40. I actually just checked the price and it seems to have gone down to $38.99 now. So even better than it was before. So that was the video. That was the review. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with as detailed of an answer as I can get. Check out my channel for more great review videos. I also do a lot of uh, gadget and tech reviews. That is Gaging Gadgets. So, thank you for watching.